Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Um, we're in a little uh, paint booth today, and I'm, uh, I'm going to put some primer on these CJ3A wheels, and we've got the final color of paint for those, so I'm going to prime them today and get the uh, top coat on tomorrow. What you're looking at right now is the epoxy primer right after I sandblasted them. When I was doing the frame, I just stuck some uh, some black epoxy primer on them to keep them from rusting again. So you can see I just gave it a light scuff. And um, now the final color of these rims is going to be a red color. So <clears throat> I'm going to put a, a red oxide primer on these to match real nice. And you can see in some areas we had to do a little, um, a little metal work and fix up some damaged areas, but. The wheels overall are in very nice shape, and um, I'm going to uh, clean these down with some wax and grease remover, get some primer mixed up, and then come back in here and uh, I don't know, we'll probably put two or three coats of primer on here. Uh, we'll keep the heat up, and uh, they'll dry in no time, and then by tomorrow we can uh, shoot the final color on them. This is just a uh, this is just an old shipping container that I use for for painting uh, <clears throat> small parts and stuff. I don't do the whole body in here, but uh, a lot of little parts, engine parts, wheels, you know, small parts. It's easier to keep um, a small area heated this time of year than trying to heat a whole big paint booth. So um, this is a this was a refrigerated box, so it's got you know like eight inches of insulation all around it, so it holds the heat real nice and uh, we could keep it nice and toasty warm in here like we need it. I like it between 65 and 70 degrees for painting. Um, but uh, I'll show you the process as we go along. I can't keep the camera in here when I'm painting because the lens will get all messed up, but uh, I'll show you the steps as we go. So uh, I'll get these cleaned down and uh, we'll get some red oxide primer on them. Okay, here is the color of the primer we're going to shoot. It's a, uh, it's a red oxide, and it's as close as we can get to uh, our, our uh, finish color, <clears throat> which is red, and I'll show you that next. And uh, we just want to try and get it as close as we can. You know, no sense putting a red over the black. So we're going to put this uh, red oxide on, and uh, that's going to bite into those repair areas we made. We don't want to just put regular primer over the bare steel. So we're going to shoot this red oxide over it. And um, when you're doing your wheels, um, I try and keep the least amount of paint on the wheels that I can. Um, you know, you don't want when you tighten your lug nuts a whole big thick wad of paint there. You just start cracking your paint and it'll start peeling off. So the minimum you can get by with wheels is, is better. Um, prep the metal before you start doing anything and, and, and the least amount of paint you can put on there as far as primers and building primers and anything like that will be better off for you. So we're going to shoot this primer. Um, got my primer gun here. Um, that's got a 1.4 nozzle in it and uh, we're going to set the gun up just right. Um, a lot of guys uh, you know, they, they got their air pressure too high or they got their fluid nozzle out too far and, and there really is a, a perfect place you need to be when you're shooting anything, whether it's primer, uh, base coat, clear coat, uh, anything, you know, single stage, whatever you're, whatever you're doing, you got to have that gun set right. So take your time and learn how to do that right. Um, and we're going to let this, this mix here, this has to uh, induce for 30 minutes. So we're going to let that sit for 30 minutes, we'll re-stir it. We'll, we'll run it through a strainer, we'll put in the gun, and we'll shoot it. Um, I've got the heat on in the booth right now, warming the wheels up to about 70 degrees. Um, it's warm in the shop, uh, so we're going to let this sit here, and, uh, and then we'll come back, and, uh, and we'll start shooting these guys. Okay, here's a shot of the finished red we're going to be putting on there. Uh, lighting's kind of tricky in here. It's it's hard to get a good look at it, but uh, this is this is the red we came up with for the wheels. And if you remember the CJ3A project, uh, when it came in, the body was painted red, but that's not the original color. It was a it's a gray Jeep with red wheels. So we've got the red here mixed up, and this is a single stage. This is not a 
a base clear setup. This is just a single stage. So <clears throat> after we get the primer done today, I'm gonna let that sit overnight. Uh, keep it warm in there. I'm gonna let that sit overnight. Come out early tomorrow when uh, it's all quiet here and uh, and get these in finished color. And then what we're gonna do is put a black pinstripe on this. A um, um, let me think here. Yeah, I think these wheels were doing black. And I think we're going to do another set of wheels a different color for this project too. But uh, I'll double check with the, with the owner of this and uh, make sure we're doing black. But I'll show you how we get that, uh, <clears throat> that paint around the wheel there. Uh, something fairly, fairly easy to do. You don't have to go crazy. And I'll show you a couple different things, a couple different jigs I got. And uh, um, i just make sure of the color and then I'll show you how we do the pinstripe. And that'll be next week. But um, <clears throat> this is where we're at now. Um, I'm going to get the wheels uh, wiped down again, tacked off, and uh, I'll show you what they look like with the primer on them. Okay, hang in there. I'll be right back with you. Okay, everybody. Um, this is the red oxide primer on the rims. And I let this sit overnight. And... Um, <clears throat> Biggest thing you got to do when you're uh, doing a custom paint job or any kind of painting, other than say you know like a body shop accident work, uh, you want to let want to let your solvents flash off. So uh, that's the reason we let stuff sit overnight. There's a whole bunch of different chemicals you could use if you're just doing you know everyday you know crash work at a body shop. You know you'd use different products, but. Um, I like to use uh, very high quality primers and paint and stuff, so um, <clears throat> just don't rush your paint if you're doing, if you're trying to make a nice restoration. That's one of the biggest things I see is guys rushing the paint job. They put the primer on and they just want to wait a little bit and start shooting top coat. Um, don't get yourself into that trouble. Um, paint won't set up right. You'll have trap solvent under there and it'll just be a mess for you. So we're going to tack these off. And I'm going to go mix up the uh, the final finish color red that we're using on these wheels. And I'll be back out here with you and show you how that's going. And like I say, that's a single stage. No clear coat, just a single stage. And um, <clears throat> we'll get that laid down. I'll get the uh, temperature in here is about 70. I'll probably get it up to about 75 in here and then come in and shoot. Uh, that's another thing you don't want to do. You don't want to paint when it's too cold. Uh, a lot of these primers and paints and stuff don't like the cold weather, so they won't set up properly. So make sure you got the heat, make sure you take your time, and be patient when you're painting, and it should come out okay for you. So um, I'm going to go mix some paint now and be right back with you and show you what the, uh, what the top coat looks like. Okay, everybody, I uh, just got the first coat on. Uh, on this single stage I like to shoot my first coat, just a medium coat, and then I like to put two uh, wet coats on. So um, medium coat will let flash off for about 15-20 minutes, uh, and then we'll go on with a heavy wet coat, and uh, we'll give that a half hour, and then we'll put our final wet coat on, and then leave it sit. Um, now mixing the paint, this single stage this is a 411 mix. And you can see we got our cup here. I think you can see this. A bunch of different scales on it, but uh, it's all graduated. So we do four parts of paint, four parts of hardener, four parts of reducer. And you can fool around a little bit with the reducer. Uh, you put a little more reducer when it's real hot out, uh, a little less when it's cool out. But um, it's hard to see on the camera the color. But uh, it's a very nice color red for the wheels. And um, when you're spraying after you do your mix, make sure you always put it through a strainer before it hits your gun. You don't want any uh, little bits of anything in there. And I am spraying with a, uh, this is uh, an Iwata. Um, best thing you could do to help your paint job along is invest in a good spray gun. Um, the cheap ones just don't atomize the paint real nice. So um, I've got different guns for different things. I've got a clear gun. I've got a primer gun. I've got a base gun. You know, you've got to have a pretty good assortment for what you're doing. Um, 
this lays the paint down perfectly it atomizes wonderfully so um, you know you, you've got to you got to pay the price if you want a nice paint job so uh, that's got a uh, 1-3 tip in it and um, like I say we just got the first medium coat on there so uh, I'll be back in a little bit and uh, we'll get another like I say another two coats on the wheels and I gotta flip them I'm still doing the back side I gotta flip them and do the front side but um, I'll take you along step by step as uh, as we go through it okay I'll be right back with you okay everybody it's been about an hour since our final coat and the real color isn't showing up too good on the camera here with the with the lights on um, when we get it into the daylight you'll see the real color this looks kind of pink looking but that <clears throat> the camera's really kind of screwing up the color but you can see we've got a deep gloss and they came out just nice how we wanted them to so we're gonna let these dry uh, it's Saturday today so we'll let them dry the rest of the day today is Sunday and then uh, maybe Monday we'll uh, get the tires mounted and then I'll show you how we get the stripe around the wheel there so there's all five wheels painted up and ready to go so we're gonna get out of here now and uh, just let these guys sit and um, I'll show you uh, the tire insulation and, sh and the striping next so that'll be another video but um, that's what's coming next for the CJ3A wheels okay I'll be right back with you in a little bit okay we're back inside here and I just want to uh, tell you guys what we used here um, there's our mixing cup so when you mix this uh, four one to one you get a quart and a half of material of sprayable material so <clears throat> to do the five wheels uh, we used almost an entire quart so we've got a quart of paint and um, you know uh, <clears throat> a quarter of that in hardener and a quarter of that in reducer so if you're thinking of doing some wheels um, to do five of them uh, you're gonna have to start with a quart um, some guys have tried with a pint and stuff and uh, have had bad results you just don't have enough paint and you want to get um, like I said I shot a medium coat and two wet coats and um, that's about the minimum I like to put on for uh, a single stage setup so um, I just want to give you a heads up on what you'll need to do five wheels um, so we're gonna end this video here and um, we'll be back uh, probably on Monday mounting the tires like I said and uh, we'll continue to go on the uh, on the chassis that's just about finished we just need to put it in final paint and uh, if we get some decent weather uh, the body is ready to be sandblasted I'll get the body sandblasted and we will uh, begin changing some panels out in there that got damaged so um, if you like the video hit the like button send me a comment uh, let me know how you think the series is going and uh, anything you want to see just give a shout and I'll do my best to try and get it out there for you okay we'll catch you next time and thanks for watching